came here to DePaul, I was a lot more quiet and insecure of myself. Um, I, but I did want people to get to know me. So going to DePaul, I was hoping for a fresh start. So I pushed myself as much as I could to get to know more people. And I knew that these last two years of high school was my last chance to really make a difference. Freshman year, I didn't want to be involved in nothing. The only thing that I really did was like, um, student ambassador work, but that's about it. We went from five buildings to one building, so I feel like not only did the students mature, but the faculty, the building as itself, all of it matured together. Um, I was very excited before going to high school. I was also nervous because I knew I was going to be meeting new people. Kind of going back to freshman year, I, I was really young and I made some poor decisions when it came to my corporate work study job. With the help of my relationship managers and all the teachers and people at my job in school, they helped me overcome that adversity and um, become a strong, mature worker. Now as a senior, I like plan events. I'm part of student council. I help out in like different clubs too. I'm in the yearbook club. When my parents um, both got sick the beginning of the school year and they were hospitalized, the first people that I remember contacting me was a teacher from DePaul. His name is um, Manuel Iris. He is my English teacher this year. I never would have imagined a school contacting me like this. And I thought, oh, this is my problem. This is something I'm going to have to deal with. No, the school, the president, many people, Ms. Garb, she contacted me and told me that everything was going to be okay. Having my father pass away during COVID, like um, quarantine, I think that was the biggest challenge that I actually had to go through. It impacted my family um, because now my mom has to work um, third shift most of the time to like make ends meet, and I have to like take care of my little siblings most of the time too. One of the biggest challenges I faced in my entire four years here at DePaul was being diagnosed with um, stage three Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a cancer of the blood. Um, and I was diagnosed the summer before senior year, and I sent it out to my class, and I had major support through that entire process. DePaul was great at supporting me. They catered to my needs and helped me along the way, and now I'm cancer free. One of the reasons why I came to DePaul was their 100% college acceptance. I've decided to go to the University of Notre Dame. I want to study um, English. The Urban Scholar Scholarship that I received, it's a program based, it's like 45 people in it, and it's based, you know, help your community and leadership, but also academically, you gotta do well. And so I'm involved in the service team at school, and I also help out with like my church and stuff and serve, and I'm also part of the student ambassador team here at DePaul. Most looking for after I leave DePaul is keeping the relationships I've made being in contact with my friends, being in contact with my teachers, like keeping keeping them updated of like the things that have happened in my college, like that will happen in my college. Even though we came into this thinking that high school was gonna be normal and we got hit with a curveball, like no, y'all gonna be at home for a year and a half. Just hearing my name was solidified that I actually did graduate and I actually did graduate with a good academic standard as far as like high school going into college. I just want to say thank you for all of you for just giving me the opportunity to be better than I was. It was something that I always wanted to do and I never knew what to do. And coming here really helped me be able to understand what I was supposed to do with my life and just grow. And it was the best experience I ever could have had. So just thank you for everything.